Hi everyone, this is Phil Mazza, and I'll be reviewing the course outline and a quick overview of just a few pages of our Canvas course, all this for LDR 703. For LDR 703, we have 13 students. One student is online only. And we will be meeting in Gruen Hall, room 408. So we do have a classroom now assigned to us. And again, that's Gruen Hall, room 408. Keep in mind, our class does not start immediately when the semester starts. We start a little later on, the second half. When we do meet, it will be on Wednesdays from 5.30 to 8.30. And again, we will be rotating between live sessions and remote sessions. When we are remote, those sessions will be asynchronous. You'll note here that I will um, be holding periodic virtual office hours using Jitsi. So students will be able to pop in at any time during the virtual office hour, ask me any questions. If a student cannot, they can email me. We can set up a separate virtual office hour by appointment. And of course, uh, for those students who have had me in the past, you know I'm very accessible via email. And I know everyone is thrilled that there is no text required um, for this course. All the reading will be posted online uh, using Canvas. At the start of the course outline, you're going to see a section nature of this course, and it sort of describes the unique situation we are now in because of the virus. And again, you will see that we will meet live on rotating weeks. When we do meet live, um, we will require physical distancing and face masks. And in fact, the classroom will be set up to ensure physical distancing. No food or drink will be allowed in the classroom. Now, I've always allowed food and drink in the classroom, and in fact, it will say that later in the course syllabus, but this paragraph and the contents of it supersedes any other um, covenant within the syllabus. So, no food or drink allowed in the classrooms. When students are in the classroom, they will sit in the same seats at all times. I will be making notes of that, so attendance will be taken each live class session. I'll be making notes where students have sat and that's for contact tracing uh, purposes. When we are not meeting live on those weeks we will be meeting remote and those remote virtual classes will be asynchronous. That means the virtual class page will open up Sunday night and will stay open so you can enter it and do the work based upon your schedule. Keep in mind, however, any assignments that are made, there are strict due dates to those assignments. Continuing down with the course outline. And for those who have taken my classes before, you'll be familiar with this format. We will see a little blurb on the virtual or asynchronous classroom. It will have two sections to it. An immerse section where you'll be required to read posted documents. There may be some media files you'll have to watch and um, apply. So you'll have to complete any assignments. For LDR 703 there are two assessments. Weekly journals that will be worth 60 points and a focus paper that'll be worth 40 points. And again, you will see there's information on the focus paper assessment and information on the weekly journal, how to post that. On the syllabus, you will see towards the end our schedule. So you will see we meet the, our first meeting is actually gonna be remote. So it'll be asynchronous and it'll be the week of October 21, Wednesday. Then we go live and remote, live and remote, so on. So we rotate throughout the semester. For those students, of course, who are online only, um, they will not be meeting live, 
but they will have an online virtual classroom. For LDR 703, you will see this is how Canvas is set up. All your major links are right on the home page. Keep in mind, if you are an online student only, you'll have to go to a secondary page. Here is the classroom schedule, but this schedule is for live remote students. So you'll see when we are remote, and you would click here to enter that virtual classroom. Right now the links are not propagated. I will propagate those links as we approach the dates and what readings and assignments. If the student is online only, you will click here. It will take you to, looks the same, but there are some differences, right? A schedule. Again, remote. This link will propagate. The next week when we are live, online students will remain remote and they will have a virtual class or a synchronous link here. All of the assignments are here. And all of the assignments will be listed on the asynchronous page depending on whether you're live remote or you are online only. Let's take a look at an asynchronous page. You will see, and they all will have the same look and feel, an introduction, format, immerse, in this case, a PowerPoint presentation that you'll have to review. You'll have to read Chapter 10 of Novak's book and two videos to watch. And of course, always make sure you're jotting down key concepts. And then apply. Weekly journal here. And again, they will all have the same look and feel. Virtual classroom for context. This will just be for the online students only. Readings and apply. So hopefully this video has given you um, some help and answered some questions specific to the course outline and our asynchronous approach. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Be happy to respond. Until then, have a great day and be safe always. Thank you.